And now, WWE presents Survivor Series. Well, here we go with Survivor Series. Team Ray versus Team Barrett. So Team, like, WWE versus Team NXT, I guess. So kind of like what they did with actual Survivor Series around this time. Let's find out who exactly is on our team. All right, so uh, elimination, I assume. We got uh, there's, there's three young superstars. There's, there's two young superstars here. There's Daniel Bryan and uh, Jacob Katz. Well, it's because of rivalries like this. So I don't know what you're talking about. So I always love, you know, Survivor Series matches like in real life. And then, you know, when you play them in this game, uh, this, uh, they've only had the capacity to make six man matches. So you never had that traditional 5v5. Match, which is always one of my favorites. I don't like nerds. I don't know if it's the fact that Survivor Series may be like the first pay per view I saw live. Survivor Series 2003, I want to say, uh, the one with Shawn Michaels, uh, Team Bishop versus Team uh, Austin. Kane versus Shane McMahon. That was the first pay per view I ever saw live. And maybe that's the reason why it has a soft spot in my heart. But I always liked elimination tag matches, and that Shawn Michaels, that's what made Shawn Michaels my favorite wrestler of all time, that match. It's just phenomenal. Oh, I'm not saying it was Shawn Michaels' best match, but that's what made Shawn Michaels my favorite wrestler. <laughs> you gotta learn how to connect with those kicks, Daniel. There you go. Let's go for a double team, or possibly a triple team maneuver here. And there's a tag. Oh, the snapmare. And Ray with a running boot taking down the Husk Man. And now he's back out on the apron. Missed. Embarrassing. Oh shit! The German. Get up, Ray boy. Not today. Enziguri. Ray's so tiny. <laughs> oh, the DDT. He's got to make the tag. Yeah, it's a good thing all these guys are super weak. I could beat them all in like five seconds. A running kick to the face connects. Ooh, See if I can get a pin off of that. Why not, right? Oh, picked him up by accident. Never mind. Let me do this. This works. Big time flip sent on. Oh, look at that. We got the Y prompt. <laughs> Made him do a front flip. That wasn't even a forearm, that was a clothesline. Where am I? <laughs> I'm not even there. Oh, the Daniel Bryan in the ring. What do we got here? Oh. What's the name of that suit, Bucks? It's going to drive me nuts. Is a master strategist. There's an actual the name for it, and I just can't remember what it is. Alright, let's take care of Justin Gabriel. I assume it's going to be me versus play. three by the end of this. That's my guess. That yeah, beautiful Somebody's butterfly suplex. Love match. that move. Drop kick to the back, and somehow he falls the opposite direction where he got hit. It made no sense. Another butterfly suplex on Justin Gabriel. Follow that up with nothing because he reversed it he hits the drop kick Nasty from an drop incredible kick. vertical leap oh, oh shit <laughs> the mid-air collision that look cool uh they're going another butterfly suplex why not why is the referee freaking out can't handle jacob cass's uh douchebaggy looks i guess and now brian with the brain buster stealing jacob cass's finisher justin comes up with a great counter Oh, oh running neck breaker. If you could just stop yelling at my tag team partner, that'd be phenomenal. Charles Robinson, jeez. Nope, inside I go. From a submission hold, why not, eh? A little, uh, crank it up, or, or not, okay. A nice calf kick, buddy. Maybe next time you'll try to hit me. Double wrist lock suplex. And another brain buster for Justin Gabriel. Plunk. 
Quiet, Top the rope. Headbutt, dead. perhaps? Yeah, boy. Oh, that's what happens when you miss. You know, you become Chris Milan, you murder your family. So you got to be careful of doing that move, Daniel. What do you got here? Camel here clutch. Here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. Oh, not nah, not done, apparently. Just wanted to injure him a bit. Possible? Weaken him out with some submission holds, you know, considering I'm the submission specialist, Daniel Bryan. Caution, signs may obscure vision. Yeah, no shit. It's the kind of sign I'd bring to a wrestling show. Daniel the guy behind Bryan, me can't see. Well oh, the bro the kick Bryan. by Daniel Bryan. And the Northern Lights suplex by Daniel Bryan. Brian, elbow strikes to the chest. Stealing more of my moves. Fucking, that's a casserole. You can't do that. And there goes Barrett again. Well, damn, Brian's about to die. Fucking wasteland. Terrible move. That's not concrete, but if you say so, Michael Cole, if you say so. <laughs> the referee's like, fuck you, man. Mysterio's team needs to get something going. Whoa, where did he come from? Team Mysterio finally cuts into this deficit. Should be Team Mysterio, man. It's Team Jacob Cass, baby. Cass Daddy Flex. Oh, nasty back suplex. Really wish I could edit my moveset, though. I'd like to switch my finisher to something interesting and not a fucking brain buster. Whoop. Then again, I also have the super kick. The turnbuckle. The drop kick. The flying form. Charles Robinson can't believe what's going on. He's talking to people in the corner again. Charles Robinson has gone officially ape shit. To the top rope the goes Jacob Cass oh, really and eats match. shit. <laughs> oh god, the reversal by Cass. Cass daddy flex. Oh shit. Had that well Why did he say scouted so weird? Oh damn, Barrett looking for that pump handle slam. The pump handle oh, drop. I believe that's his signature. Oh, what's up, son? Enziguri. Like Flipping STO. To the top rope. Ghost cast daddy. Oh, the moonsault connects. Followed up with a jumping elbow drop. Jacob Cast is feeling it. He's going to be looking for the casserole. Oh, he missed it. Oh, the crossbody. What the hell's my other signature? I have no idea. Is it a running move, perhaps? Probably is. The casserole. One, two, three. Yeah, see you later, punk. Here we go. Oh, the super kick connects. Will it be? One, two. Oh, the best way to win right there. What's he doing to the pad? Oh, did not mean to unbuckle that turnbuckle. That was by accident. Into the turnbuckle. Let's take him off the top rope. Let's finish this match right here. Big time superplex. Or not the drop kick. All right. Jacob Cass going all the way to the top. The spring drop kick. I want to make him tap out. How about that? Submission locked not even close. Okay. I don't know what's injured then on him. Is it his head? Is it his body? Oh, the Anaconda Vice. The Anaconda Vice, baby. You're going to tap. You're going to tap. Jacob Cass wins. And Team Mysterio gets the win. Watch it. Barrett from behind. He has to be absolutely humiliated that he lost to Jacob Cass. Oh, Michael, enough is enough. When is somebody going to take charge here? Here we go, King. Gentlemen, gentlemen, may I have your attention, please? I have just received 
presence with his sheer stature. Is that oh shit, it's Kevin Nash. <laughs> He appeared in the last storyline when he power bombed Triple H for no reason, and now he's back. Looking for that jackknife. See you later, Wade. with WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. We are just 24 hours removed from Survivor Series where King, we learned who our new boss is. Oh boy, did we ever. Not only did we find out it's former WWE and WCW champion, Big Sexy Kevin Nash, but Barrett and his teammates found out the hard way that Nash has a hands-on management style. Well, speaking of our new general manager, he's coming out now. In case you haven't heard, there's a new sheriff in town. Oh, I guess you did hear. So listen, I was out in Hawaii, soaking up the sun, enjoying frozen drinks and hot women, when I get this phone call from my old buddy, Triple H. So Hunter tells me that things have gotten out of control in the WWE, and the board of directors are looking for a big man to get some of these young knuckleheads in line. I only had one question. Does it pay well? Tripp says he wouldn't have called me if it didn't, so here I am. Now let's get serious. I don't know if you kids out there realize or not, but it's been 10 years since the WWE purchased my former employer, WCW, an event that shocked the world. Glad to see you guys remember it. So what I've done is called up some buddies. We're going to put a little tribute show on at the end of the month called the Clash of the Champions. And each week on Raw, we're going to introduce a different guest host that will compete that night against a WWE superstar. So without further ado, I present the first guest host, the legendary Double A, Arn Anderson. Do you believe this, Michael? Not at all. Arn Anderson? I can't wait to see who else Nash brings out. We've already seen Arn Anderson, I believe, in the first playthrough. Guitar is so sick. I can't tell you how much I appreciate Big Kev for putting together this WCW tribute show. I personally have been wanting to do this for a long time. So what you'll see took a lot of people, a lot of work, and we hope you appreciate it. Now, I'm going to announce the main event at Clash of the Champions. That night, we will see one of the WWE's all-time greats, the World Heavyweight Champion, John Cena, take on another one of the WWE's all-time greats, but more importantly, one of the best competitors to ever step in the WCW ring, Rey Mysterio. in a match for the World Heavyweight Championship. Thank you. Senor Anderson, I, I don't fully understand all this living in the past. To me, WCW consists of a bunch of has-beens. And WWE was kind enough to put them out of their misery. I think it's time that we stop looking to the past and start looking to the future. And Mr. Anderson, Alberto Del Rio is the future. Well, here's the thing. You may come from royalty, but Rey Mysterio, he comes from WCW. And in four weeks, that's what matters. I demand to be a part of this match. You know what? I like your ambition, Alberto. So here's what I'll do. Now, you mentioned that we should be looking to the future. See, si. I think the future lies with Raw's newest addition, Jacob Katz. 
So, Senor Del Rio, if you can defeat Cass, you'll get your title match. If Cass wins, Mysterio will face John Cena. Well, you heard it here, folks. Up next, Jacob Cass will take on Alberto Del Rio. Will Del Rio take Rey Mysterio's title opportunity? Or will Cass defend his friend's opportunity against John Cena at Clash of Champions? Oh, the stakes are high tonight, Michael. Why would I not Anderson get my title shot? Alberto Hansen wins, he gets a title shot. I win, Rey Mysterio gets a title shot. That's a bullshit. I want a title <laughs> shot. I won the Survivor. We still got eliminated in the first, the first person eliminated in our freaking uh, Survivor Series match. I beat all three competitors by myself, and now if I beat Alberto De Rio, Rey Mysterio gets the title match. Yo, fuck out of here, man. That's weak sauce. All right, whatever. Cass will just do what Cass Daddy Flex does. And that's win matches, cash checks, and give STDs to all the ladies. <laughs> yeah, cross body over your head. That's how much height I get when I jump. Jawbreaker right there. Oh, the running drop kick to the side of the head. Oh, yeah, there we go. Big time STO. Oh, we're going for the. Oh, never mind. I poke. So, uh, what do you guys think of Cass? I forgot to completely ask that at the beginning of uh, the first couple parts of this series. I'm sure this might be part three, perhaps, by now. Maybe a bit later than that, but... Yeah. So far, um, I enjoy this story a lot more than Triple H. Triple H was mad boring. You know, is that a story? Jeez. It's like Triple H is jerking himself off and then while well, he watches himself in the mirror. <laughs> That's essentially what that was. This one's all over the place thus far. And, you know, bringing up WCW, I love, I love me some WCW, so. How shitty it was. Oh, the Trouble in Paradise connects. Follow that with a super kick. I love how my finisher is also a move I can do without having a finisher. How stupid is that? Let's get him to the turnbuckle. Nope, never mind. Arm drag. Go to the top Jacob rope. Cass wants to take a chance. I think Cass wants to go fly with the double foot stomp, but he misses. But it's all right. The casserole. Cass does it. One, two, two three. three. Yeah, boy. Did it. That's what I'm talking about. Jacob Cass has kept Ray's championship match alive. Well, Ray taught Jacob everything he knows. I guess imparting that wisdom paid off big time for Mysterio tonight. 